Allergies have been kicking my butt this fall and I want something warm and cozy, so we're making homemade apple cider in the crock pot. Let's do it. Mix and match your apples if you want to. I'm gonna use a bag of Fuji apples and this orange. We're gonna wash our produce. Blah, blah, blah. We're gonna wash all of our produce because it's going in with the peels and the skin on. Get out a cutting board. We're going to slice our orange. And now we're gonna slice our apples. I'm going to quarter these, so I'm gonna cut around the core like this. And then we'll set the cores off to the side. Repeat with your remaining apples. I'm running out of room on my cutting board. I should have used a bigger one, but I don't want to dirty another dish. So I'm gonna start putting these into the base of our crock pot. For sweetener, you can do granulated sugar or brown sugar. I like to do a mix. So I'm gonna do about half a cup of each. I have a quarter cup measuring cup, so we'll do two of the granulated sugar and then two of our brown sugar. We're gonna go ahead and spread our brown sugar over top of our apples. Now I'm gonna add in three cinnamon sticks, a teaspoon of whole cloves, like that much, and a pinch or a couple shakes of ground allspice. These are some of the spices that make up apple pie spice, so that's what it's going to flavor it as. Now we're gonna cover this with about eight to 10 cups of water so that it's almost full and we'll cook on high for three to four hours. And our last two cups. Do you guys like your apple cider hot or cold? This is what we're working with after about three and a half hours in the crock pot. I think it's ready. The house smells so good. We're going to strain this out and if you want you can take some of these apples and push them through your strainer to get a little bit of extra flavor from the pulp. And garnish with a cinnamon stick. Enjoy!